the men's final is a tense affair. Davis prepares himself mentally for the challenge ahead. He knows it's going to hurt, and he needs to be mentally ready. And it proves to be an epic contest between Howell Davis and Darren Robson. Off the bike, the two are level. They pull stroke for stroke on the road, but Howell builds up a slight lead as the 500 meter mark is reached. pull-downs, Robson displays lightning-quick technique and gets ahead by a couple of seconds. The atmosphere inside the arena becomes electric, and so too does the pace of the ultimate fitness showdown. pain shows on Davis' face, and he cannot shake off Robson, it's going to the wire. <laughs> Treadmills are reached together. Robson sets off at a quick pace, but with around 300 meters gone, Robson has to slow the belt. The noise in the arena becomes deafening. There is barely any daylight between the two as they approach the bench press. 40 reps of 40 kilograms would sort out who lays claim to be the fittest man in Britain. It looks as if the judges might need a photo finish to separate them. Then Robson falters. His body is so tired. He has an oxygen debt he cannot repay. 40 kilograms now feels like a maximum lift. Davis powers on. Davis stops the clock in a time of 15 minutes, 27 seconds. Davis falls to the ground. He has produced the supreme effort, but it has hurt. The usually exuberant Welshman is, for once, lost for words. Robson bravely finishes in a time of 15 minutes, 50 for the silver medal. Andrew Evans, competing in an earlier heat, takes bronze with a time of 17 minutes,